Hello and welcome to this video about meiosis. It's the second form of cell division that we're going to look at. We looked in a previous video at mitosis. We said mitosis happens in mito. It's all to do with the cell division for growth and replacement of cells in our bodies. Meiosis, however, is different. Um, it's very specifically to produce the sex cells which are sperm and eggs in, in humans. So it's a very specific form of cell division and it's slightly more complicated than mitosis. So sex cells are called gametes. That might be a new word to some of you. We need to know that one, gametes. And in, our, and in humans, the gametes are sperm and eggs. In the male, the sperm is produced in the testes and in the female, the eggs are produced in the ovaries. And in fact, a female is born with her eggs. And whereas the male produces sperm on a daily basis. And meiosis then is the cell division that will enable our bodies to produce these sex cells. Now let's compare it to mitosis to help us see what's going on. So just a recap of mitosis. There was one cell division um, whereby you had a cell with 46 chromosomes those chromosomes replicated themselves then the cell divided and it produced two cells which were identical and each cell had 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes meiosis is different because it now has two cell divisions involved in the process this time four cells are produced and each of those cells that are produced only has 23 chromosomes. Okay, not 23 pairs, just 23 chromosomes. So half of what um, a cell that's produced in mitosis has. Importantly for meiosis, the whole point of meiosis is that all four cells that are produced are genetically different. Okay, so each sperm cell or egg cell that you make is genetically different from the next. And that's why we get so much variation in how we all look, because the genes that are in the um, sperm and egg cells are all a completely different mix, unless, of course, you're an identical twin. So these gametes then um, only contain a single set of chromosomes. So we start in our ovaries or in our testes with a cell with 46 chromosomes, but this time we have two divisions and we end up with a cell with 23 chromosomes. So if you're doing the foundation tier, you're not expected to remember these details here about the number of divisions and number of cells produced, um, but we do need to remember that each cell that's produced has 23 chromosomes or um, you can write it as just one set of chromosomes compared to um, mitosis where they have 46 chromosomes or two sets of each chromosome. Uh, for higher tier, you do need to know those extra details. Um, you do need to remember that there are two cell divisions that take place which produce four um, gametes. And you also need to know a couple more details, and that is, just like in meiosis, at this point here, copies of the genetic information are made. So the DNA is first of all copied, and then the cell divides twice to perform four gametes. So one cell division here, and another cell division here, providing you with four gametes at the end. At the end of the video, I do go into um, a little bit more detail in case you're interested, but for your exams, that is about as much detail as you need to go into for meiosis. This process then takes place in the ovaries and the testes, um, where the ovaries, the gametes that produce their egg cells, in the testes, sperm cells are produced, and if we have a little depiction here, you can see that these would be sperm cells with 23 chromosomes, egg cells with 23 chromosomes. So when they came come together in the process of fertilisation, you perhaps can do a little quick bit of maths and see what happens if we've got 23 and 23. Fertilisation is the process um, 
where the sperm cell and the egg cell nuclei fuse. Okay, so don't forget these are um, chromosomes are in the nucleus, and when these nuclei, excuse my writing, when these nuclei fuse together, that is fertilization. So when the sperm and the egg cell nuclei fuse together. So when they do that, you've got 23 chromosomes in the sperm gamete and 23 chromosomes in the egg cell gamete. If they fuse together, you will end up with a fertilized egg with 46 chromosomes. So that just helps you think about why meiosis is ending up with cells with 23 chromosomes in. Because when they fuse together, you want them to make a complete cell with all 46 chromosomes. Okay, the next bit I'm going to talk about you really don't need to know for your exam so if you're put off by learning more detail about meiosis then um, feel free to turn off the video now if you found it helpful press the like button and i'll see you in future videos if not if you want to know a little bit more detail about meiosis um hopefully this won't confuse you it'll just help to understand what's going on a little bit more um let's start off with remembering that our initial cell had 46 chromosomes in, so 23 pairs of chromosomes, one from the father, one from the mother. Just like mitosis, they make a copy of themselves, so you've got a copy um, here, here and here. So if you just compare this on chromosomes 1 to over here, you can quite simply see that the blue one has made a copy of itself and so has the red one. So you've got two from your father now, two from your mother which are identical. But then this is the key thing that happens in meiosis to give you the variation, to give you four um, different combinations of DNA in the gametes that are produced. It's something called crossing over and these chromosomes here, for example chromosome pair one here, they cross over and they swap little bits of their DNA that they've got. So little bits of the chromosome you've inherited in your, from your father will swap to the chromosome you've inherited from your mother and vice versa until you end up with chromosomes that look a little bit like this where you've got little bits of DNA from your father and your mother existing on one chromosome. So this bit, this crossing over, gives you that variation and it's an extra step that you don't see in that mitosis because mitosis just um, makes identical cells. So what then happens is different to mitosis. In mitosis, if you remember, they all line up, so all 46 chromosomes line up down in the middle of the cell. In meiosis what happens is they line up in their pairs. So for example, here you've got pair 1, here pair 2, pair 3, and you'd have that all the way down for your 23 pairs of chromosomes that you've got. And then what happens is they split so that one of the chromosomes goes to one side of the cell, one of the chromosomes to the other, so you end up with two cells here, each with 23 um, chromosomes in them. So that's the first cell division that happens in meiosis. But there is a second division as well, and with the second division, it's a little bit more similar to the one we saw in mitosis, where all the chromosomes now line up in the middle, and then they get pulled apart from the middle here. So now these chromosomes start getting pulled apart, and the cell division occurs, so we end up with four gametes, four sex cells, which are each very different genetically. Okay, so each of these has um, different genetic information in. So just to put this all together, we start off in the ovaries or testes with a cell with 46 chromosomes. Um, the chromosomes make a copy of themselves and then crossing over takes place um, whereby the DNA is switched between the chromosome inherited by the father in, and the mother and you end up with something like this. Um, whereby the chromosomes line up in pairs, obviously you'd have 23 running down here, not just three. Then the first cell division takes place, whereby the chromosomes move to either side of the cell. You then have a second 
cell division that takes place and because of the crossing over you end up with four daughter cells that are um, the result of the second cell division and they each have a unique combination of genetic information. So more de detail than you need to be able to explain in your exam but sometimes I find having a little bit more information will help with your understanding of meiosis. If you found this video useful then please feel free to click the like button below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.